Hello Indie Game Lovers, Nerds and Nerdettes, my name is Phoenix, and this is Indie Game News. Today we're looking at base building and survival genre. Please take your time and stay focused for the next few minutes. You can find all the links to all cover games in the video description. Feel free to pause at any time. I cover other genres as well, so give my channel a look afterwards. Ok guys, since you all know how it works, let's start with updates of already released games. On the 14th of June, Keeper RL version Alpha 22 was released on Steam. The update features dedicated tutorial as well as many technical and gameplay improvements. Particularly, we'll see improvements in how ownerships of items works for minions directly in your control and in general minion interactions. For example, minions will no longer attempt to heal comrades who have other means of healing themselves. We will see new, nicer research menu, a simple movement animation for creatures when destroying objects, digging and cutting trees, highlights on various buttons and tabs icons, a part of that many bug fixes and small tweaks to the game. In case you never heard of this game, Keeper RL is ambitious dungeon simulator with the roguelike and RPG elements. You will take role of the evil wizard and study methods of black magic. You will forge weapons and equipment for your minions and explore the world, murder innocent villagers and bear their homes. You will build your dungeon, lay traps and prepare for assault from angry heroes. Typical campaign will take about 3-5 to five hours and after which you can start a new procedurally generated map. What is unique about this game is having your character in the game. If your keeper dies, the game is over. And also the ability to possess creatures and take control directly of your minions. On 10th of June, Alpha 16 for 7 days to die has released on Experimental Branch. Alpha 16 brings huge changes to the game. We will see a distant rendering system that creates the models for locations of up to 1 km away from the player without much impact on the game performance. A part of that, developers have added 30 new locations to the explore and loot. We will see complete overhaul of spawning mechanics. Every location has unique spawning appropriate to location or area within the location. For example, maintenance area will spawn utility worker zombies and the office may spawn the businessman zombies. There is also many changes to how many zombies are spawned, where and how they spawn in the game, making each game more unique experience while creating a clear rules for players to learn with time and take advantage of. We will see addition of complete functional electricity system with the wiring tools, power sources, lights, switches, triggers, traps and more. A part of that greatly improved random generation in the game. New enemies, animals and many more changes to the game. Check the links in the description to learn more. Empyrean Galactic Survival Alpha 6 released on the 7th of June. Game will feature now oxygen system. You will be finally able to create a sealed environment within your base that has a fresh oxygen pump into it. So you can now finally take off your spacesuit without being worried about suffocating in your own base or constantly refilling your tanks. Game incentivizes you to do just that but making character consume less oxygen in such environment. We will also see a temperature and radiation system. Temperature and radiation will affect your health if you are not prepared well enough. On the planet the temperature depends on where you are, biome and altitude, and the time of day. We will see a new player armor system that replaces all suits, dynamic weather system, and with addition of triggers and sensor, game opened a whole new world of possibilities for creating complex system with use of logic gates. We will also see addition of traders, farming update, limited visibility of nearby sectors forcing players to explore more, addition of custom scenarios allowing for a whole new experience created by other players via Steam Workshop, updates to AI and much more than I am able to cover in a single news video. Alpha 6 is solid game changing update and you definitely want to check the links in the description for more details. On the 7th of June we have seen the final update for the long dark Faithful Cartographer. We'll see the user interference overhaul. All interference is made more fitting for a game's mood. Players now have to use the charcoal mapping and map no longer updates automatically. Players have to stop and map the points of interest. Developers are putting a lot of emphasis on players slowly learning the map and enjoying the environment rather than staring at the minimap. Additionally, developers added changes to dealing with corpses of hunted animals and implemented sense system. Dragging the sack of fresh bloody meat will make you more attractive to predators. We'll also see changes to struggle mechanic and some tweaks to first aid and crafting, as well as work on optimizations. Developers are hoping to leave early access on the 1st of August, so if you haven't played this game, now is good time to jump at almost finished product. 
Now let's move to recent released games. Colony Survivor released on the early access on the 16th of June. Imagine that Minecraft and Banish had a baby, and that's exactly what it would look like. In this first person survivor based builder, your job will be to build your own village, castle and city, and populate it with the colonists. You will have access to guards, farmers, miners, foresters, bakers, smelters and artisans working for you. After the sun sets, most colonies will go to bed, but the enemy awakens. The horde of monsters will assault your colony and try to slaughter you and your villagers. You will have to defend your colony with the walls, modes and guards. Game features a multiplayer support, support for textures and language packs created by players, and advanced pathfinding. Colonies and zombies will find their way in the world you build. They will dynamically navigate the stairs, bridges and tunnels. You will be able to explore the world with the realistically placed biomes, the giant jungle and the center of the world surrounded by savannas, deserts and temperature biomes, and two polar regions in the north and south. The Colony Survival has received 86% positive review score on Steam out of over 500 reviews submitted. Community Inc. Alpha is available to download via games on website. As a new manager, your job is to build a happy community and trade with other races. You will need to ensure your minions, the links, are provided with the basic food, celery, clothing and healthy environment. Links are easily distracted and often will start the fights and arguments that you will have to deal with. Game features over 150 craftable items and allows you to upgrade your village with each item having its place and purpose. Roads increase your minion speed, cabinets increase the storage and so on. You will be able to explore both procedurally generated and custom built maps. You can talk, fight and trade with other races. A game is set to come out properly on Steam this summer. Ok, time for announcements. Kingdom and Castles is set to come out later this month on Steam. Kingdom and Castles is a game about growing the kingdom from a tiny hamlet to sprawling city and imposing castle. The new land you are settling in is at risk of Viking invasion. The raiders seek to kidnap and kill your peasants, steal your resources and burn your town to the ground. You will have to use the powerful castle building system where the castles are constructed using the blocks which you can place anywhere. Towers and walls are dynamically created based on how you stack and arrange them and it all takes place in a beautiful dynamic world with a stylized procedural cloud system, season cycle from summer to winter, and a realistic tree growth algorithm that simulates the forest. Depending on your needs, woodcutters can clear it out or responsibly manage your forests. Ok guys, that's it in this month indie game news. If you know of any games that should be featured in the next month updates, or you release the game yourself, please contact me at writetophoenix at gmail.com or tweet to me at phoenix underscore gaming. If you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe for more. Nerds and the rest, my name is Phoenix and it was a pleasure to have you here. Take care.